Monica Sancio. For an excellent lifestyle, you have to work out, even if you're injured. Yes, for shoulder injuries that are so common among athletes and all sorts of activities and people, yes, you have to do some strengthening exercises. I'm going to show you some of my favorites, but please consult with your doctor and your therapist who will tell you exactly which ones are more convenient for you and how many repetitions and all that, even the resistance. I'm going to start with three pounds, but you might be able to use more or less, perhaps one pound on each arm, to do these very, very important exercises. The rotator cuff, okay, is located, like I can't tell you right now, but it's actually four muscles with their tendons, okay, and this is the external rotation, external, and this is the internal rotation, exhale, inhale, there, very, very, very easy. Okay, this would be like an in L. Now we could do the Y from here all the way up here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Very, very careful. Okay, sometimes we do these with bands, okay, with elastic tubing or even with uh, these sticks like broomsticks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you could do this exercise. It feels really good, by the way. You could do this T this with your weights. Inhale and exhale. Yes, good posture. Working that group of muscles. Rotator cuff. Yes, to prevent injuries too, not just to strengthen after you've had the injury. That's even better. Better to prevent than to be curing, right? Okay, now a surprise. Yes, I've got some tubing. This is typical of the rehab tubing because it's lighter. Okay, and the first exercise I want to show you is the flexion of your shoulders, okay, right here, as if you were doing shoulder exercises like um, front raise, very similar, and it's a very important exercise in rehab, rehabilitation, yes. The flexion, so easy, huh? Now the extension, from here, you extend. You could also have your tubing attached to a door or to a chair, depends, but you do have to do this move, from here, okay, all the way back. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. It really feels good on your shoulders to protect them, whether you lift weights, whether you're working out with kettlebells, <laughs> perhaps tennis. Uh, all sorts of sports have this um, frequent overuse injury, and we want to avoid it by taking care of our shoulders. We have to really take care of that rotator cuff. Now I want to show you um, something else that you could do with this. If you have it attached to a door, you could do like the internal rotation, easier, it would be like this. But in this case, since we're not attaching it, let's just do the external rotation. So from here, okay, you have your elbow at 90 degrees, from here to there. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. That's it. And then, of course, depending on what your therapist prescribes to you, how many repetitions and what kind of resistance, until your shoulder gets better, and then you could get back to your normal activities. But don't stop working out altogether. I'm sure there's many exercises that you could do with your legs, your glutes, even your calves. <laughs> so don't stop working out. And uh, I'm going to show you something that's really good for you, too. Step on the tubing, like in the center, and just as if you were doing a lat raise, like this, this is good for your shoulders. It's called abduction. Yes. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. I love this exercise. It really feels good on my shoulders. And for a little variation, we're going to do the empty can exercise. Pretending we have an empty can, so we're like, okay. <laughs> we're making sure it's empty. So it's a little rotation of your arm from here. It's going to go like that, okay? About 30 degrees or more inside. Yes, it, I feel it. <laughs> you try it. It feels fantastic to take care of your shoulders so that you won't be out of the activity and you always be fit, healthy. If you like this video, use it. Take whatever works for you. Share it and I'll see you online. Connect with me at monicasancio.com. Take care.